Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Unknown to World Known, series 2. We're back with Osterlin. We're here for the first two games of our season, although not the first two games of Osterlin's season, because we are in a relegation scrap. So it's not really anything to go through since you were last with us because, as planned, we've come back for the game against Lunds. The only thing that really needed to go over, I have started the process to recall Rasmussen and Osmanovsky. The reason being, we've got no other centre-backs at the club other than Jakobsen and Jonsson. Froda can play there, but if we play him there, we've got no one that can play left-back. Maybe we could look at a three at the back formation. That might be something that we have to look into because our right back isn't that strong. How good is Froda at centre back? He's pretty good there. We might get training a three at the back formation just so that we've got the options. But of course, the other thing is Rasmussen and Osmanowski aren't quite at that same level. So if we go down with an injury, we might be struggling to field a back three that's good enough. So we're playing Lunds today. And a win could see us climb into the relegation playoff spot. But then we've got one really tough run in for the rest of the season. So we're going to be up against it. Outside of Lunds, we don't play anyone that's not in that top seven. Such an unlucky time to come into the club because we've got one team and then the top half of the league for the rest of the season. We're up against it. We're going to need to... Be on it with our tactics, because otherwise we're going to get a very early relegation on the CV. Let's go and get into the game against Lunds. And we're going with the asymmetric 4-1-4-1. We've got Bitiki in goal, Blixt, Jonsson, Jakobsen and Froda as the back four. Marchin and Traore in midfield with Jovanovic in the number 10. Matori out on the left, Egbedi on the right and Stoppi as the striker. Fun fact as well that I've just discovered, we have replaced Soppy's dad as manager. So hopefully, despite that his dad's been sacked, he'll still perform for us. Let's get into the game. So Arnshed with the throwing for Lunds in their bright pink away kit. Otterson plays it inside to Bowman and then back to Assad. Arnshed with a crossing opportunity here. Cross goes in and it was Blix got beat in the air, but the header was wide. Tran with a free kick for Lunds and it's headed over the bar at the near post. We've now got a corner for Lunds. Tran sending this one in and it was almost a free header in the box but it's headed away. Oh no. And Hansen has scored to put Lunds 1-0 up. 25 minutes gone and it's a poor start for us as we find ourselves needing a comeback in our first game in charge. Nobody was marking Hansen on that left-hand side there. And at half-time, we remain 1-0 down. Lunds have only really had that one chance. It was a good chance and they took it well, but we've actually had chances, just haven't made it on camera. So they're obviously not great chances, but at least something's happening there. So we're going to try uh, the control possession tactic for the second half. Jovanovic is going to become a advanced playmaker and Troy is going to become a Mazala in hopes that that might give us a better chance in the second half. We come back to a highlight as Jakobsen receives the ball, plays it forward to Traore, Egbedi, in space on the right, gets into even more space, chance for a cross here, goes in but it's headed away, Soppy heads down to Egbedi, oh what a strike that nearly was. We've got a throw in here, Blix sends it all the way into the box, Traore, we're back on level terms ladies and gentlemen. Through the head of Traore, the long throw from Blitz, going all the way into the box. The keeper didn't know what to do. Traore just heads it into an empty net, and we are leading. We are, and we are back on level terms. We've got a highlight straight from their kickoff, though. Fulin plays it back to Velikovic. Tran goes back to Fulin, and hopefully this is going to be turning into a highlight where we nick the ball. But Tran trying to prevent that from happening. Goes back to Arnshed and Assad. And then Tran to Barman. And there's a tackle from Bouch. Oh no, Barchin's going to get sent off. Oh, what have you done? It's your first game with your new manager. 
and you've just gone out there and kicked someone. The change we're going to make is to bring Honor Flood on for Jovanovic. I didn't really want to bring him off. He was doing well in that number 10 role, but we need that defensive midfielder, I feel. So that's what we're going to have to do. But Barchin not getting off on a good start with me. And we're going to make a change now as well with Soppy coming off for Sheriffy, who's going to go on as a poacher and hopefully can nick as a goal on a counter-attack perhaps. 15 minutes to go, we're going to make our next change, which is going to be Matori coming off. And then Anil's going to go out onto the right-hand side. Eggbed is going to go as an inside forward on the left-hand side in the hopes that we can manage to find a way through with 15 minutes to go. Tran with a free kick late on. It's headed but straight at our keeper. Jakobsen and Froda are going to try and play this out. Eventually is play forward to Sharifi, but he's very isolated out there. Holds the ball up, ends up playing it back to Jonsson, who then goes over the top. It's a poor, poor attempt. And now Fulin and Hintzer, a ball attempted through for Christofferson, but Jonsson deals with it, clears it away. Sharifi heads it on, but there's nobody there supporting him. Their keeper comes out and plays it back upfield. Christofferson is in behind Jonsson here. It's played back. And again, Hofander on the edge, Tran. Hofander shoots and it's over the bar. But it's worrying. And we've come through our first game in charge with a 1-1 draw. I definitely feel that that could have been more than that. We are going to go and find... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Barchan. You can't get sent off in a match like this, lad. That is really poor from him. I'm going to tell Froda we're not very happy with his performance as well because only a 6.1. I do feel if we'd had the, the 11 players for that whole game, we would have come out with a win in that. I felt in the second half we really had control of it. But Barchan just making a very silly mistake and... I'm pretty sure he's our vice captain, which might not last for next season. So for the second game of the episode, we're playing Torns. They sat fifth in the league, so it's going to be a tough game. And with that in mind, we've only made one change for this game, with Onafold coming in for the now suspended Barchan. Brawson is on the bench, however, who looks like he could be one of our best strikers. We're going to give Sharifi a chance up front because he is the top goal scorer at the club at the moment. So it's only fair that we give him a chance to prove himself and hopefully he comes up good. But if not, he's got somebody watching over his shoulder ready to make their move. Early on, we've got a free kick here. Froda's going to send it in from deep. He's found... Oh my goodness, Egbedi. What was... I don't know what their keeper was doing. He was miles off his line though. Long throw here from Blix. Bullets it in, but it's headed away by Nilsson. Blix is going to collect it as it comes away though. Jonsson plays it forward to Traore. Ball over the top, finds Janovic. He cuts it back to Matori. And we are leading against Torns. That is what we like to see. We've taken a 1-0 lead. 15 minutes gone. We've got our five fans bouncing in the crowd. Traore, what a ball to find Jovanovic. And then he doesn't rush it, takes his time, lays it off to Matori, who finds the bottom corner at the far post. What a start to the game. We come back with a highlight here. Nilsson's picking up a yellow card. We've got a free kick in a very dangerous position. Froda is stood over it. And he finds the top corner. It's 2-0. What a start to this game. That's our second goal in less than five minutes. And we are 2-0 up against a team who are fifth in the league. And what a free kick that was. Also, just while we're on this screen, I love that they point out the team. On the league table in pink that you're playing against. I like that. It's a nice little touch. Blix plays a throw in short to Traore and gets it back. Then goes inside to Traore who plays it over the top to Sharifi. Oh my goodness, we're tearing them apart. That's 3-0. And maybe the pro only problem in the first game was the tactics because at the minute we're looking like we could tear anyone apart. The ball from Traore again. What a playmaker he's turning out to be. And what a finish from Sharifi. Froda now with a throw in from the left. Gets it inside to Matori. He goes to Sharifi. On to Egbedi. We thought about the through ball. But plays it short to Blix on his right. 
who gets a bit of space, transfer across here, or we can lay it back. He does lay it back to Troyore, back to Blix, Troyore, Blix again, inside to Egbedi. His cross is blocked. Troyore calls it and nearly finds the far corner. At half time, we're 3 0 up in a game we've just absolutely torn apart, torns, funnily enough. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> I did that by accident. It all worked out. We're going to tell them, you know, not to get complacent. We're playing really well, but we need to make sure we maintain that in the second half. But what a first half it's been. We've absolutely blown them away. And let's get into it. Free kick for Taunt here on the edge of the box. We're just, just before the hour mark and Taunt's have got one back. So we need to be careful in the second half now because that's a sign of life from Taunt's. Also just seen that Lunds have got 1-0 up, which means we're back into the relegation zone. But we've got a hard half an hour to go. Batiki plays a long ball upfield. Robert is going to go and collect that for Taunt's. He comes back at us, but Jonsson brings it down and challenge. Plays the ball forward to Sharifi. Nilsson heads it away, but only as far as Egbedi. Ball into the box. Jovanovic needs to hit the target there. If he hits the target, it's very likely a goal. We're going to bring Brawson on for Sharifi. More than anything, just to give him his chance to make a claim to that striker slot rather than because of a poor performance from Sharifi. And also we'll bring Ahmad on for on a fold again. Just give him a chance to show what he's got in the, in the bag. Brawson loses the header, but Matori heads it down to Jovanovic now. Back to Ahmad and then gets it back. Brawson. Jovanovic has just been kicked in the middle of the pitch. Blix goes back to Jonsson. Ball over the top. Brawson. What a volley. It's 4-1. That is game over. And we are picking up a at least a 4-1 win. There might still be goals in it, but I would be very surprised if Torns can get back into this. The ball over the top there from Jonsson and the timing of the run from Brawson, the finish from Brawson, it's all phenomenal. Robert's got the ball at right back for Torns, so it's played forward very quickly. Jakobsen with a very strong tackle. Traore goes back to Jonsson. Jakobsen now plays the ball over the top. Brawson, can he hold off his man? He can, can he round the keeper? He can, he's chipped him, it's 5-1. This is unbelievable. After a struggling first game, I was worried going into a game against a team in the top five, but we've absolutely torn them apart. Again, I, I don't mean to keep saying this, but this is ridiculous. Our final change, just with a couple minutes ago, we'll bring Egbedi off for Soppy, just to give him a bit of a rest. Why not? It's 5-1. The game's over. Brawson nods the ball on. Soppy is invisible on the right wing. Saar goes long upfield. We've got another player who's invisible. It's headed down, and now Harleton, trying to find space, drills it in, and Ahmed, oh, oh what a save. Froja heads away. It's full time. We've come away with a massive 5-1 win against Torns. Despite saying get stuck in, none of our players have picked up a yellow card either, which is just a nice little bonus for us. Let's have a look at what that's done in the league. It means we have moved up one place because Lund's also picked up a win. However, above them, Adwitterberg's actually lost to Lund's, which means we've closed the gap on them down to six points. We've got six games to go. So it's quite possible if we can perform like we just have against Taunts against the rest of the top seven, then we might be in a position to find ourselves outside of the relegation zone completely rather than in the playoffs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back for the final two games of the season against Utsiktons and Skovda. I don't know if those are pronounced correctly. We're going to pretend they are. As it stands, the team's in eighth and first. Hopefully by then, we can pick up a couple more wins because based on that performance... I now feel quite confident going into that end of the season. Is that going to be misplaced confidence? Possibly. Possibly. But we're going to go into it, see what we can do. We seem to have a couple of goal scorers in Sharifi and Brawson. So hopefully we're in a position where you know, we can get out of this relegation battle and move on to next season. So let me know what you think is going to happen down below in the comments. Subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode. 
and hit the notification bell. Hopefully, the support on the first video has gone down really well. At the moment, I'm recording this just after it's released. It's already on nine views, so thank you very much for the support. Please do leave some comments on videos as well. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content for FM22. We're going to be having a lot more content coming your way. Unknown to Unknown is going to be daily for the foreseeable future, unless I have any major complications. And also the draft video that I mentioned on Saturday with Ashman. I had a very busy weekend. I didn't get a chance to edit it. It will be edited for this weekend. It's going to be out at 11 a.m. on Saturday. I apologize for the delay. I apologize to Ashman for the delay, but it will be out. I promise you. Thank you very much for watching.